Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how to transform an MRI scan like this into a 3D object and then 3D print it only with free software. First thing we do is to check the MRI data, convert the data, set up the virtual PC and 3D print the files. So here you can see a disk with the MRI data of my brain. You can find the data inside uh, the DVD and set the folder DCOM. So that's the data look like. Now we check the data with micro decom. That's a free program where you can uh, look at um, MRI data. Um, I prefer data from top-down perspective that gave me the best results in my experiments. Now we install MeshLab, a program that we use later to group the two halves of the brain we get from the program. Now we install the program to convert the DCOM data into files that the virtual PC we will set up can convert into a 3D object. Open the program DCOM2 and IIGU and file DCOM X and go to the folder with the files and select the main folder. There you have uh, the converted files. Download Virtual Box, Oracle Virtual Box. It's a free program where you can set up virtual PC where we can run Linux because FreeSurfer, the program we use to convert the files, is a only Linux program so we have to set, a, set up a virtual PC on our Windows PC. And this file there is an image with the FreeSurfer data and programs that convert the files. Here we um, unraw and zip the files. Open Oracle Virtual Box and create a new virtual PC with the name Free Server. Select Linux as the operating system and the version Ubuntu 64 bit. And now select the amount of RAM you want to allow the virtual box to use. You only should use half of the complete RAM. Search the file we unzipped before and uh, set up the virtual PC with this file. Select the file and go on. So now we have our virtual PC. Click on start to start the server and the server we created will start. Now you have to follow my steps precisely. Don't upgrade on the start. Click on device on the top. After that, just addition. Um, then auto run sh and put in the password free server. Press enter and wait. Click 
click again on device on the top, after that drag and drop and select bidirectional. That we can drag and drop files from our hardware PC to our virtual PC. After that we have to reboot the system that we can use the functions we activated before. But if your system doesn't reboot and stuck like mine's, click the X at the right top and now start the server again. Go back to your desktop and select the converted brain files and drag and drop them to the virtual box. For me this selecting process is easy because I choose the file with the most pictures so I only need to find the biggest file, rename the file. Open the terminal and put in the first line of code you can see in on the left side. Press enter and again t type in the password free server. This will update the virtual PC manually. Repeat this process four times. You don't have to type the code four times. Only press the arrow key upwards and you get the code you executed before. The next step for the console us is to work with the code at the bottom on the left side but mind that you put in the file name you changed before and then press enter. And now the process starts that can take some time from 15 hours to two days depending on the amount of RAM you allow the system to use you always can stop the virtual PC. Now you have to wait for the program to finish. 21 hours later, you see the program needs 21 hours. The last step in virtual PC is converting the files we got into SDL files that we can change and work with. We get a right and a left hemisphere of your brain. So do this for both sides. Now the files are converted and go to File, System, User, Local, Subjects, My Brain, Surfer. Find the two files RH dot sdl and lh dot sdl and drag them to the desktop and drag and drop them to the desktop of your normal pc now you can close the virtual pc we don't need it anymore go to file import mesh and select the two files on the desktop Now here you can see my brain. In your case, you will see your brain. If everything works fine, your brain should look similar to mine. The next step is combining the two halves into one mesh. So go to filters, mesh layer, flatten visible layers and click on apply. Now we have a one mesh layer, but our mesh is very complex, so let's set the details a little bit down and smooth the corners. So go to Filters, Remeshing, Simplification and Reconstruction, Simplification, Cradric, Edge, Collapse, Decommission, and change the target faces to something like 150,000 and hit Apply.
and again go to filters, smoothing, fairing and deformation, application smooth, hit apply, the default value of 3 should be perfect. Go to file, export mesh, as and select dot object for the file format. and click save and ok. Now close the program and if you have a 3D printer you use your program of choice. I use Kira, a free software from Ultimaker. A tip of mine, use tree supports in Kira that will help to get a good result. The estimated print time is 2 days and 18 hours. Here you can see how the brain looks like with tree supports. Save the file to your drive and eject the storage medium from your computer. Two days later.
So this is a good print, but it also can be a little bit tricky to print these kind of 3D prints because three days of 3D printing is tough for some printers and also your octoprint can fail because I use octoprint and my serial connection between my printer and the octoprint failed and the printer stopped printing I tried to recover the print you can see here but I don't get the right right position so this print is a fail but after this I printed a little bit smaller one so you don't have to print this large you can also print a small one like this this uh, this only takes five hours or so and this three days so this 50% and this 100% so I think that's a better way but if you want to be a cool person and can say that you have your brain in your room 3D printed, you should stay with this thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like to support me, click the like and subscribe. See you next time.